Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac afterwards. We got pretty close to death on the last one, but succeeded. You would... <laughs> why do you hate me? RNG, why do you hate me? 9BJGT1WA. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I mean, it, it feels rich to say why do you hate me to the RNG, um, when it just gave me the easiest character twice in a row. But, the reason I say why do you hate me is because I don't value the win as much as I value not only audience entertainment, but also the audience not being, like, furious with me. But I'm feeling at this point, I gotta give you a little dose of perspective. There's thousands of Isaac episodes. Let's not get bent out of shape over .02 of them being the same character in a row. Please help me help you. Let's do this. And again, the Azazel run almost ended in complete disaster last time. We'll try to keep that level of zaniness high as we, uh, as we play Azazel again. And you know what? We're gonna make the best of it. I'm with you guys. Oh god, a little, a little scary on the HP front here. I'm with you guys in the sense that I find Azazel kind of a boring character. This is, a a little bit of, uh, a great synergy as Azazel, actually. And you might be saying, what, a rotten baby synergy? What's going on with that? What's Azazel's main problem? Oh, uh, maybe the fact that you got one and a half HP right now, you fuckboy. Okay, well, that's just incredibly rude. Uh, I, I've been treating you with a certain modicum of respect so far, and you turn around and call me a fuckboy, an insult I barely even understand. It's insulting and uh, shows an underlying lack of respect by which I will not abide. Now, if you could please stop calling me these names, or I'll have to get the proper authorities involved. Well, the real answer to that question... Oh, my God, the speed down. Oh my god, the relax. The real answer to that question is, um... Principal problem with Azazel is range. Being able to get, uh, Rodden Baby means that our range issues are basically 100% sorted out. Well, that's not totally fair. Not 100% sorted out, but they are sorted out. Hilarious that you gave me uh, a caffeine pill, which is a speed up with a speed down pill attached to it. But we are actually reasonably fast right now. Um, Rotten Baby basically takes our damage, doubles it, and then sends it far, far away from us. Uh, so we can actually do some damage from afar without having to be, you know, up in the grill of, of basically any enemy here. Which is good. We still gotta be up in the grill of some enemies, I suppose, you know, we gotta get close enough to do some damage with our own tiers as well, otherwise we're gonna be here forever, but... This is, um, we're in a delicate situation, admittedly. Uh, we really need to pick up some HP as soon as possible. For several reasons, not the least of which is because, you know, I'd, I'd like to have a chance at our deal with the devil. Um, in order to have a chance at living after picking up our deal with the devil, assuming it's not a very particular and fairly narrow subset of deal with the devil items that give us HP or extra lives, um, we're gonna need to get at least one more spirit heart or a red heart outright, which is fairly unlikely, but I suppose can happen. Early Wrath fight does not bother me on this tiny room. He's still fairly easy to dodge, and we have some extra bombs now in case we find Tinted Rocks. We also have enough money uh, combined with our bombs to probably have a pretty good chance to get a... Uh, to get a Spirit Heart, or even just a genuine item from our shop. Magnet, pretty bad. We're in a situation in which we already have uh, the ability to fly, so Magneto's not liable to be very good for us at all, but uh, it is what it is. Figured we'd find our secret room there. That was a terrible way to place that. Skeleton key. It's good. It's very good, in fact. Uh, now something like Guppy's Tail carries a lot of value for us, but... I'm kind of a... I mean, I might feel like I'm looking a gift horse in the mouth a little bit. I'm like, oh, Skeleton Key, it's okay. But really, it's more like... I want to make sure that we can actually live... Temporarily here? Or permanently, ideally, I suppose. So if you could guarantee me some more HP like you did right there, that would be nice. Like it when you give me health there, right there. 17 cents, okay. Let's get starter deck, get rid of this bad trip pill, it becomes the Hermit. Two Hermit cards. We are going to use another bomb, and that's going to give us just enough money to buy a Spirit Heart. Now, theoretically, we can take a deal with the Devil, and ideally... Well, I was going to say ideally immediately go down to the next floor, but actually with these Hermit cards, we should go to our um, our Curse Room. Then we can teleport out and still have a Hermit card to back us up. Easy fight. Safety Pin gives us range, which is nice, but also more, uh, more HP. And then we fight freaking Krampus here. 
Uh, truth be told, either of the items is fine, although Lump of Coal I don't think does anything for us. Head of Krampus, for once, is actually our better suggestion. This may end up being a weird deal with the Angels sort of run, but maybe we could fight Mega Satan twice in a row. Krampus' head also kind of nullifies our range issue. I missed a Tinted Rock in there. That's, that's hilarious. Ooh, we got no. We're not gonna miss the tinted rock. Actually, high priestess, emperor. Um, you know what? I'll take the damage on the way out to hold a hermit and an emperor card. Now let's try throwing a bomb down there. We get a golden chest. The golden chest contains flat penny. We don't have a trinket, which is why we're taking flat penny because otherwise, flat penny. Oh, that was very dumb. Is uh, likely to be completely worthless for us. But hey, so far so good. Can't really complain about this situation. We got two teleport cards. Um, hopefully we find like a boss trap room on this floor and I will use them fairly immediately here. In fact, once I crack these two open, I'm probably going to use the Emperor card to get out. As long as we have one teleport card at our disposal, I don't really mind uh, using one in a way that might seem like slightly suboptimal. Not just for, you know, ease of use and, and the speed of the run, but also quality of life, man. You know, if you get a, a really good boss item or a really good, wow, a really good uh, deal with the devil item right away, that's valuable. Strength card is not horrible. Two of spades is completely horrible for us right now. It gives us uh, 99 keys, which effectively gives us zero keys. Petrified poop is actually going to be better than, um, well, that's barring a, uh, I guess we can't even get a bombs or key pill now that I think about it, so it's, it is going to be better, um, because we're not going to accidentally be, uh, Turning our keys into bombs. And any extra money that we get from this is a good thing. Left two enemies alive, which is a little sad considering how much damage we did there. Another card, and Diplopia. I think you have to buy Diplopia just because of its novelty. It has the chance to be really good for us. It has the chance to be worthless for us. And as people often point out, I, I pretty much never use Diplopia properly. The most common way, I think, is to steal uh, some items from your deals with the devil. But what I really like it for is, if possible, saving it for the chest and doubling active it or doubling items that can actually give you a benefit for having more of them. Or uh, getting like four extra copies of items on boss rush and then teleporting out so that's probably what i'm gonna look to do here if we can and you know what i might hermit card out of this room as well i know we're kind of squandering our teleportation cards but saves me from having to deal with the indignity here okay you know what grab this we'll take diplopia uh and then we'll well, we'll take our card which is uh strength yeah and we'll head down to the next floor this floor went okay. Little Haunt is okay. Cube of Meat is probably slightly better than okay. You got a Magic Mush for me in here, maybe? Ooh, a Yara Rune. We could Yara and then Diplopia? It's one of those things, like, it sounds like those are two good things. Maybe they'd be good together, but I don't know, man. I've never had a pizza ice cream, and I'm assuming that I'd probably rather just have pepperoni. But we'll see how this goes. Most important thing, just recognize if you're on a uh, Curse of the Maze, so you don't accidentally think you're going into your boss room, press space to uh, skip the cutscene, and then accidentally use Diplopia on nothing at all, thereby rendering all of your earlier conversation completely worthless. Joker? Credit card. Man, that's really good, too. Alright, sorry, Strength card, but you are not as interesting right now. I'm trying to... We should work through the repercussions of this credit card. Credit card means that we basically have two free deals with the devil, or we could, well, get everything from a shop for free. I don't find that that valuable, though. Not as valuable as getting a, a few free damage upgrades or something. Eh, it's probably not worth it. Hmm. It's an interesting situation right here. We got a lot of kind of, like, it, it feels like extraneous stuff. We got a lot of extraneous stuff going for us right now. This Yara credit card Diplopia situation... I didn't even see that. This Yara credit card Diplopia situation is is interesting. I think you start with the credit card. Probably. But we actually have to get a deal with the devil in order for this to be useful, I guess. 
Okay. I'm happy with Speedball for the extra speed. And then, I mean, it's not great. You certainly don't want a Diplopia 1 item. I guess we want precedent, so sure. I'll take it for free. And then we'll go find our item room and, and maybe our shop on this floor and, and move along. That's not as incredible as I hoped it would be. A free ability to fly in Spectral Tears when we already have both of them. But effectively, what that means is we get to keep one Red Heart and we get precedent. Um, whereas before, we would have had to trade one heart for precedent. So it's not really like a huge swing, but it's okay. I'm actually really stoked to have this Greed fight here. Picked up a fly item from our boss. Or, sorry, not from our boss, but from our, um, item room, which is effectively pretty bad as well. But at least it gives me an alternative means of doing damage. And we'll just go seek out the possibility of a curse room or something here. We're way ahead of schedule if we want to teleport out of boss rush, so... I just need to, uh, basically keep pushing these advantages wherever they, wherever they are. And maybe we'll toss a... No, I wouldn't expect to find a second secret room there. Alright, we'll head downwards. This is like a carbon copy of the last Azazel run. Low HP, pretty good damage. With Quad Shot, we actually have really good damage towards the end of that, uh, that Azazel run. But we are still a... <sighs> playing pretty poorly. We played amazingly at the end of that last Azazel run, but there were, there were definitely some poor places on it, uh, damage-wise. Not in terms of, you know, fiscal... Purchasing power. I almost sneezed there, and then the sneeze evaporated, and now I know what it's like to feel pain. It's like there's a pressure in my brain that is just, okay, now it's gone. Fate's Reward. Shows up uh, quite frequently, invited or not. It's one of those things, it's like you're not necessarily stoked that it's showing up, but you're not, you know... You're not like, oh shit, there's that dude to the party again. Who invited him? Nobody. He just showed up. But it's more like, ah, you know, hey, it's Derek. Derek, you're all right. Did you bring, you know, potato chips like you always do? Thanks, man. Maybe at some point people will be hungry tonight. Derek's always here occasionally when you need him. Judgment. Yo, dog. Hook me up with some HP. This is gonna make it so... Okay, you know what? The map is actually better than HP here. I took some... Why not shoot the, uh... The, f the fires, right? It takes two seconds. That's my own... That's my own idiocy coming back to haunt me. So we've been to item room. Got Fate's Reward. Been to the shop. Can't remember if there was much useful there, but... We don't need to worry about it all that much. We should go to our secret room. Ay, oh, my god, stop. You... Made me speak another language there. I was so frustrated with my own damage. The damage I took, not the damage I'm doing. But I am fairly frustrated with the damage I'm doing as well. I worry that actually... This is not going to help us out that much. I worry that doing two Azazel runs in a row is going to... Um, kind of prime me to expect to be way stronger than I normally would expect to be on a run, you know? I forget how, how much runs can actually suck in some situations. Little Gish is, again, just okay. I'm not disappointed that we got it, but I'm not over the moon either. Let's go uh, throw a bomb down here and peep this situation. I would love to get Steam Sale here, man. Just, ah, he was doing pretty well. You know what? The quarter is actually probably better than Steam Sale. It gives us more purchasing power. I'm happy to have it. Let's go back and quickly check on our shop. Was there anything in here we liked? Yeah, the 9 volts, okay. Two of diamonds, might as well buy. The tower's pretty bad. Buy the spirit art just to insulate yourself from complete disaster and then head down to the next floor. Uh, with the map and a seven and a half minute lead time here, we should have a great possibility to get to boss rush, diplopia, Take whatever items we actually can take from there, because obviously we can only take one of each active. Um, and then uh, see how that works out for us. Teleport out, of course. Unless we get such good items that we don't want to teleport out. Alright. Yera. We have Yera, Yera. Yera, Yera. On the wall. Oh, a display driver crash? Hello. X-Split, X-Split. 
Still going. Still kicking. Okay. All right. I don't know. Java probably tried to uh, tried to do a runtime update or sort of an update to the runtime environment there. That was that was weird. I mean, we can't take two years. We gotta take the hermit. Ah. I mean, we can't yara the boss rush anyway. We can take two yaras. We can take two yaras. Just freaking do it. If boss rush isn't good enough, oh yara per throw. Let's take Yara per throw. That's a good compromise. I thought about it. I'd like I'd rather have high quality of chest than high quantity. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to teleport out of boss rush, but all we really need to be able to teleport out of boss rush and keep this per throw rune. Or keep the Yara rune rather, because we'll probably use per throw on boss rush if we can get in, is um a teleport card on this floor. Anywhere. And that'll that'll settle it here. Which I'm happy to have the possibility of. Good God! There's our boss fight already. Well, this would be a really convenient time to get a teleport card. One just popped out of us for whatever reason. I have no idea why. Um, it's not a teleport card, though. It's just death. Pretty much worthless for us, but maybe saved us from having the possibility of taking some dumb damage on that room. Don't like champion enemies. In fact, I don't like any enemies at all right now. A luck up is very nice. We've got a couple of double key rooms down here. Quite a lot of money and another luck upgrade. First one is uh, basically money and bombs. It's a net gain because we have so many keys that doesn't really matter. And then we have a three room. Rerolls all consumables on the ground. I kind of... Oh my god, I probably rerolled. I rerolled the per throw rune by doing that. That's okay. Still got the Yara rune, and that's where the that's where the real power lies. Yeah, we gotta check this. But a little silly on my part. Infamy is absolutely worth taking. And if we end up fighting Mega Satan, hey, fuck that. If we end up fighting Isaac, which is much more likely than fighting Mega Satan, uh, we're gonna be very happy to have Infamy. But I can't help but feel that this run has largely been pretty. Uh, Pretty kind of below average for an Azazel run. I mean, what are we rocking for deals with the devil right now? Krampus's head, which we got rid of to hold Diplopia, which I haven't gotten any use out of. Arguably my own fault, but still. And then, um, Spirit of the Night. What the heck are we going to do with Spirit of the Night? You might say, oh, you got Rotten Baby. Yeah, sure, I got Rotten Baby. Uh, I got Rotten ba Baby from a freaking item room. I am gonna... Oh, eight and a half inch nails is pretty good. It's actually called eight inch nails, but... I just like to take any opportunity to reference my favorite Federico uh, Fellini film. Get restock. Uh, since we have restock, we should buy Remote Detonator. And maybe Jar of Flies. And then it just gives us the jar. Man, that's pretty bad. We got two of spades, which is worthless. Alright. Restock ended up being not very good for us. Let's just, you know, call it what it is. I guess we're going to not teleport out of boss rush. There's a trinket in here. What's the trinket? Golden horseshoe. I don't know, man. Check this room. Oh, we'll blow it up. I guess that's the only thing we can do. And we get a card, and the card is two of hearts. Okay, not really very good for us either. We'll do one more room down here. See what we get. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, now there's no longer a chance. I don't know. If, if Boss Rush is good enough, I'll do it. But I'm skeptical that Boss Rush could be good enough to make me want to do it, even with uh, Diplopia. At this point, though, being able to Diplopia something like the body would be a huge selling point for me. We got to deal with the angel? Even though we've taken a deal with the devil? Oh, but you know what? We didn't pay for the deal with the devil, so it was free... And thus does not count. Uh, I don't know if two relics does anything for us. So I'm going to hedge our bets and not use Diplopia to Diplopia one item. And we may well fight Mega Satan on this run, which is kind of hilarious to get two Mega Satan runs in a row. Potentially, at least. Take our key. Grab this. Come in here. Fruitcake. Celtic Cross. Stompy. I don't think these are worth it. As much as I'd, I'd wish I could disagree, I don't think these are worth it. Fruitcake potentially, but um, not guaranteed. So what's our what's our 
you know, use case for this Diplopia now? Well, I mean, I guess I imagine we're going to have to take it down to the chest and get something out of it there. Thanks to the Relic, uh, it, it's pretty, well, and 8-inch nails for that matter, it's pretty unlikely that we die. If we do die, I wouldn't expect to die anytime soon. I guess that's how they get you, though. Probably the mo- oh my god, she's- she doesn't knock. I'm just watching! <laughs> she's- she's freaking me out, she just stands at the door, I heard- eat, She's eating a Korean- Korean bun. I don't even know what Korean bun means. It's a bun that's made in the style of Korea. That is not true, it's morning bun. What is a morning bun? Is it a bun you eat when you feel grief? <laughs> no, for morning! You eat it in the morning?! That's only in the morning. You're supposed to be up cooking breakfast or something. Don't you, don't you know what morning bun is? I've never heard of a morning... Kate, a morning bun is not something that exists in North America. Are you sure? That was brought over by Admiral Yi Sun Shin and his turtle ship <laughs> Navy. Maybe it's a European thing, Ryan. I don't think a morning bun is a, is a European thing. It's when, like, you know, it's for breakfast. I, I've gathered that now. <laughs> Maybe it's called breakfast bun? Well, it, are you speaking of uh, au pain chocolat? <laughs> the French patisserie? <laughs> oh my god, you all are wrong. I know, I'm feeling pretty good about the commentary today. I don't know how it happened, but uh, I'm like at least 30% funnier than I was yesterday. <laughs> it's like my brain is actually working right now. I didn't even mention the fact you're eating that morning bun and it's 12.30. Yeah, I was busy this morning. <laughs> well, that's an afternoon bun now, isn't it? It's breakfast for me though. Oh, it's, oh now it's a breakfast bun. I see. Did she know at, uh, at 11.30 a.m. all food items with breakfast in the name just lose that. A breakfast burrito just becomes a burrito. Is that true? That's not true. A breakfast burrito has scrambled eggs How come in it. There's a breakfast burrito, and, but then there's no breakfast bun. It. No one would ever go to a restaurant and be like, "Hey, give me a breakfast bun." What? Is, what is a breakfast bun, Kate? For the viewers out there, it's just bread. It's just bread that it's easy to um, cut it in half and spread your butter. We just call that a roll. Breakfast roll. Breakfast roll. See, if I'm having a breakfast roll, if I order that at a restaurant, I expect there to be a, a greasy sausage patty on it. Otherwise, I'm going to be disappointed. But it's not that, that's English muffin. That's not, come on now. That's English muffin. If they're called Canadian muffins in this part of the country. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for distracting me from the womb, which was boring, and is now going to be over. We... Thank you. Uh, we got a range upgrade from Mom's Heels in there. Thank you, Infamy. Um, which is pretty sweet. Now we can actually, like, have some recourse to stand relatively far away from the boss as it rains down Hellfire upon us. Where were you on that one, Infamy? Really screw the pooch there. The relic is keeping us in the money, though. We finally got another deal with the devil. Uh, okay. I'll take multi-dimensional baby. Ya dub, buddy. I'm not gonna fight Hush. I don't like fighting Hush most of the time. We still have Suicide King, Yera, and Diplopia. Dude, I'm never gonna use this Diplopia effectively. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna Yera, um, the chests on the chest. We're gonna have a tete-a-tete, -tete, and then we're gonna Yera the chests on the chest. And then we're gonna Diplopia the chests that we've yera on the chest, that from our tete-a-tete -tete actually allow us to have some synergy. I don't really expect to to get a huge advantage out of this. You notice in this multi-dimensional baby pseudo synergy here where when he stands in front of my beam, I get a large uh, range increase temporarily. Pretty neat. I'm gonna guess that our boss is pretty much as far away as we can get. Just 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 keep just just keep moving here. Okay, good stuff. There you go. Get them all sucked into the same area. That didn't sound right. And then just go to town, baby. That's the only thing that matters in this mixed up world. Is go into town. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
We've got to be like two rooms away from our boss. Man, that uh, wit really dried out pretty quickly, eh? That being said, I like what items actually work well with Diplopia? If we're not going to be a permanent Polaroid invincibility anyway, anything like the body would work well. And I'm not talking about the item. I'm talking about the former governor of Minnesota, Jesse the Body Ventura. Also, you know, television and film star for movies such as Predator. He's the man who goes on dates before the real person goes on the date just to ensure that the person is who they say they are. We, they are who we thought they were. All right. Now, just gonna waste some of our HP by getting very close to Isaac for effectively no reason there. I'm gonna let Little Haunt take him into the next phase of the fight. Oh my god, Infamy, you saved me. I found myself in a, in a dark place there. Well, I guess we're not fighting Mega Satan. So we have to probably be a little bit less concerned about HP. Well, that's not true. We're going to lose our HP possibly in equal or even greater volume, but not as quickly. You know, it's all going to happen in one room. As opposed to in... Uh, or it's all going to happen in several rooms as opposed to just in the one room with Mega Satan. So I guess we'll take our spirit hard to head down to the next floor. Don't forget the Yera. This is very important. And probably just drop the Suicide King card. We're gonna Yera. And then we should Diplopia the items that we've already taken that don't have synergies. Because then it'll give us an extra chest. When we come back in. That's the body. I specifically asked for this item and was granted it. Okay, what do I want out of these? Uh, Daddy Long Legs may double. Dead Eye will probably not double, so let's take it. Hot Bombs, there's no point in doubling that. Let's just take it. I think we take the body and don't worry about doubling it. No, we should take the heart and not worry about doubling it. And then we'll double the body. Or, you know what, actually, I think we'll take both, because we're not going to need more HP after this anyway. And we'll take Fire Mines, um, against my best judgment, and we'll see what we get for a pill here, the stars. And then we use Diplopia, which has given us two Daddy Long Legs, which we, we wanted. And then Punching Bag, Unicorn Stump, Kidney Stone, $3 Bill, and Shoop to Whoop. I think it's okay. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's great. I don't know if we've really improved ourselves much at all. Um, but I think that was the proper way to use this. We might have only gotten one Daddy Long Legs. At the very least, it wasn't the it wasn't a complete whiff on the on the Diplopia plays. I feel stronger. Like I don't know, the nine volt pickup is really helping me out with Shoop to Whoop here. I'll, I'll give it that. But uh, this is looking like this run's gonna be over and. To be honest, I think we did relatively right by the audience in this one. That Diplopia play with the Yara rune actually ended up providing us with, with more benefit than I would have expected. That was not good damage there. Um, we haven't won quite yet, but if we're, if we're being realistic, it's, it's getting down to the wire with respect to us being able to lose. We are in a much more won position than possibly lost position right now. If you missed that, by the way... If you happen to be as ignorant of the um, like subtle mechanics in Isaac as I tend to be, what I did there was basically exploit the fact that Diplopia um, gives you another item randomly if you Diplopia an empty chest. So I just Diplopia, I took the items I wanted that didn't seem like they would synergize if you got two of them from Diplopia, and then just uh, Diplopia the other ones. And what is going on with that shot right there? Just, this is like a weird green ball of light. So basically we got not only the items from Yera, but then we got to double some of those effectively by getting another item after taking them. And the ones we wanted two of, we got two of. And some of the ones, the active items that we didn't even want, we got two of those as well for effectively basically no reason. I don't really care how much damage you do to me because this is over at this point. You know, if we're dying tomorrow, it doesn't matter how much the bill at the restaurant is tonight. We, we, we got the, we're good for it. We can cover it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.